Monday Madness. It's actually Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Haven't done one of these in quite some time. Gonna uh, do a little bit of toy news discussion on the channel here, just covering a couple of new toy items that uh, have caught my eye. One thing that just dropped on TFW 2005 is the new X-Men Transformers collaboration. So we're seeing more of those classic vehicles becoming Transformers vehicles. And the one that TFW has posted on their website right now is the X-Men jet. So the Blackbird, which is blue, go figure, has been posted and it's the Blackbird that transforms into a new design transformer. We haven't really ever seen anything like that. Uh, but he's in the colors of the the 90s X-Men, the blue and the yellow. I guess it goes even further back than that. But uh, it reminds me of the Sunbow X-Men animated series, especially with the kind of cross belt look on the front. Looks like he's got Cyclops' visor on him too. He's got some claws. I believe they're claws. They, they might be like a tri-laser blast effect, but it... It certainly looks like Wolverine. And then on the other hand, is that like Psylocke's uh, psionic blade or whatever it was called? So they're taking a couple of elements from a bunch of different X-Men uh, and incorporating it uh, into this um, new Blackbird X-Man. The name of it is uh, Ultimate Expanse. That's an interesting name. And it looks like the visor does actually drop down which is cool don't know if the eyes light up that would have been cool any cyclops style toy uh, it was always so cool when you could actually push a button and light up the visor so that's an interesting new uh, crossover vehicle as a transformer i'm a big x-men fan but i'm not necessarily a huge blackbird fan uh, it was a cool jet for them to get around in but um you know, I, I'm more excited about Gigawatt. I think he's a more perfect crossover, but still happy to see these crossovers continuing and fingers still crossed for some more 80s classic vehicles. Kit would make an awesome Transformer. The Fall Guy truck, Hardcastle and McCormick's Coyote, um, Blue Thunder, Airwolf. So definitely keep these coming. And um, it looks like this Blackbird also comes with a couple of minifigures, which are so important for making Transformers look huge. Uh, I like to use those little minifigures, either the die-cast ones or the old G.I. Joe micro figures. Just putting them in front of a Transformer, even if it's like Masterpiece scaled or Siege or War for Cybertron scaled, just putting those little guys on there uh, for size comparison uh, makes even like a, a kind of a small Transformer look gigantic. Production sample images were released of the Studio Series Hot Rod. And before I was not really all that interested in this figure, looked fine. I mean, I, I like the Masterpiece Hot Rod. Um, I like the fans' toys, Hoodlum, unofficial third-party Hot Rod, um, faults and all. But what really caught my attention was the Matrix additions. I don't feel like there's been a lot of really cool Matrix accessories other than the original Masterpiece Optimus Prime came with a Matrix that you could actually open, which was really cool. Uh, but other than just a Matrix being there, they haven't really done much with the Matrix. This one comes with like the blasting effect of the Matrix being opened up, the power of the Matrix being unleashed. The actual Matrix he comes with looks okay. Um, personally, I, I like the crystal to be a little on the lighter side than on the darker side. It's hard to tell though with, with the lighting and the angle and all that, but that picture of of Roddy holding the Matrix up overhead and that blasting effect on it is absolutely perfect. Chef's kiss or thumb kiss for that. That's awesome. Uh, I used my masterpiece Rodimus Prime in that pose and um, I'm interested to see if that'll actually fit over the Matrix that I use for him. Really cool to catch that moment. One of my favorite movie moments of all time, not just Transformers moments. Uh, you got to have the drop down visor for when Hot Rod saved Autobot City. That's right, everyone who blames Hot Rod for getting Optimus killed, don't forget he saved Autobot City because he shot first and he asked questions later and he gave them that few seconds of warning that they needed to not be completely routed. And then uh, here's a new feature. We've, we've seen his guns being able to attach to his 
uh, engine all the way to the first figure ever released in 1986. Target Master also attaches onto the engine on the hood. But I, it looks like you can attach all his guns, uh, both of his blasters as well as his pizza cutter on there. So that's kind of a busy looking front there. Um, it's, it's doable though. <laughs> One uh, pet peeve of a lot of longtime Transformers fans is where do you put the parts? And that's why a lot of those parts got lost because where do you keep them when you transform them into alt mode? So I guess if you want to load up the front there, um, that's cool. And then um, the side pipes for vehicle mode, I guess for robot mode too, when he's uh, blasting. Uh, using the pipes for blasters, but you can plug those into the back. I've never seen that before on a hot rod uh, and it acts as like a, a smoke trail or blue smoke trail or blue flame trail. That's really cool. Hot rod is a super fast looking bot and the fact that you can plug those in there and make him look like he's speeding around a turbo blast. Really cool feature on the Studio Series hot rod. And third party company fans hobby released some pictures of their Nightwalker, unofficial G1 Nightbeat, and Nightbeat didn't get any uh, airtime in the American animated series, but comic fans, Marvel Transformers comic fans, remember Nightbeat fondly. He had some awesome stuff to do in the comics. He was the detective, so in a world of blasting and action, it was really awesome to have the detective Autobot who was hunting down clues, hunting the Matrix in the Matrix quest. So cool to see him finally get the masterpiece treatment. Looks like he comes with his headmaster, obviously, but he's also got a couple of replaceable panels for his side, too. Give you a couple of options there. If you don't like the flames, then you can just go with the non-flame panels. But for me, the flames on Nightbeat are just as synonymous with Nightbeat as the flames on Hot Rod or Retgar. So... That's another cool little bonus that the third-party companies always add on there. They don't seem to be as constrained as the big companies that officially hold these intellectual properties. Uh, those companies, big companies, are constrained by just how much plastic can we produce for each one of these. The fan companies, they just throw everything in there and they go, go ahead and pay it. Um, it's already going to be a little bit more expensive than a, a mass-produced item. So always like when they throw those little extras in and his uh, articulation looks fantastic. I like the little pose of him with uh, leaning against the wall cross-legged and thinking Magnum P.I. style about how to solve the, the case. Ow. Heading over to Toy Arc now for some Thundercats news. Notice some pictures there of the new Super 7 Ultimates figure, the glow-in-the-dark Mumra, which is uh, apparently going to be a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. So if you want to own this awesome version of Mumra, you got to head over to uh, BBTS. I'm a big fan of Glow in the Dark figures. I think this is going to look fantastic. Uh, I've got the uh, old Thundercats playset, the Tomb Fortress. I think the sizes should match up pretty good. So I'm thinking this Glow in the Dark Mumra would look awesome creeping out of the tomb of that Tomb Fortress playset. That playset has a couple of glow-in-the-dark elements to it as well. The eyes on the tomb light up. They include an extra head and some accessories. They're going all out with this thing. It's going to look so awesome glowing. And they've got some pictures uh, of what it looks like uh, glowing underneath the, the robe. So if you want to get your hands on that, you can actually follow the link in the show notes of this video right here. Just click on that and it'll take you right to Big Bad Toy Store's uh, Mum Ra Glow in the Dark exclusive order page. It is on pre order with an estimated time of arrival of January 2021. Any collector should know that the uh, estimated time of arrival is um, not a guarantee, but looking forward to getting my hands on one of those. And Toy Orc also posted a photo gallery of the John Nada, Roddy Piper's character from They Live. They Live, We Sleep. We finally got a They Live figure. It looks fantastic. It's Amigo style. Uh, I guess kind of a shrunk down 12 inch Hot Toys style figure, but the detail is all there and it looks fun too. Um, maybe more fun than an actual Hot Toys figure would have been. Uh, that's the thing about Amigo. It, it's got some nostalgia to it. It takes you back to the the old days of the original Mego figures. 
but it's also got a little more detail than like a four inch figure or even a six inch figure. Comes with, of course, the removable sunglasses, gotta have those, the gun belt, the shotgun, the plaid shirt, the jeans, it looks fantastic. Uh, pistol as well, and most importantly, it does not come with bubble gum because he's all out of bubble gum. Uh, the photos on Toy Arc look fantastic, especially the ones in the alley where he's standing in front of those um, subliminal message posters like watch TV, stay asleep, uh, and then obey. We've got pictures of some of the uh, the aliens that look like their face fell on the cheese dip back in 1957. Really looking forward to finally having this one. Love the hot rod. Roddy Piper was one of my all-time favorites, and They Live is my favorite Roddy Piper movie for sure. It's an awesome John Carpenter movie. It was kind of John Carpenter's swan song of really awesome movies that you can watch over and over and over again. So very glad they finally gave uh, Roddy Piper's character in that movie a figure. So that's a couple of the toy news items that caught my eye over the last couple of weeks. Let me know what you think of them as well as anything else that you're excited for in the comments below. And join the tribe. Ooh, yeah, drop an elbow and subscribe. Yeah, nervous day.